Yom Kippur is the day of forgiveness. It's certainly the happiest day of the Jewish year. And at its conclusion, every one of us emerges like a newborn babe with an absolutely clean slate. There was a great Hasidic rabbi, Rabbi Yitzchak of Berdichev, who used to always say, even if I were not commanded to fast on Tisha B'Av, the ninth of Av, I wouldn't be able to eat because I'm so sad about the destruction of our temples. And even if I weren't commanded to fast on Yom Kippur, I wouldn't be able to eat because I'm so excited, so overjoyed with the notion of being forgiven. But forgiveness is not natural or automatic. It requires tshuva, repentance. And how does one repent? And what are we supposed to be repenting about? Now the biblical verse is very clear and we recite the biblical verse a number of times in the Yom Kippur liturgy. This verse is usually translated for on this day you will be forgiven for all of your sins before God shall you be purified. But according to the Mishnah, in the 8th chapter of the Tractate Yoma, that's not the way to read the verse. The verse is rather to be read, for on this day you shall be forgiven for all your sins before God. Purify yourselves. What does that mean? And the Mishnah suggests that our sins before God will be automatically forgiven. Our sins before our fellow human beings, we've got to ask them for forgiveness. The declaration on this day you shall be forgiven for all of your sins before God, that's fine. But become purified only when you know how to be forgiven for your transgressions against your fellow human beings. Let me tell you what I think about. On Yom Kippur, almost constantly. A Jew once went to the Holy Baal Shem Tov, the first Hasidic Rebbe, the founder of Hasidism. And he said to him, Rebbe, I want very, very much to repent. I don't know how. And the Baal Shem Tov smiled and said, you know, in our town of Mejbaj, there's a butcher. Shmero. He doesn't sit on the western wall, on the eastern wall, I'm sorry, of the synagogue. He's not considered one of the important benefactors or scholars of our community. But I've learned how to repent from him. Go to him. He'll teach you. The interview was perplexed, but nevertheless he went to Shmerel's house. And Shmerel was sitting before a fire. It was the day before Yom Kippur. And he had two piles in front of him. And the individual explained to Shmerel that he had been sent by the holy Baal Shem Tov. And he had to learn about how to repent. And the butcher responded, I'm now repenting. And the individual asked, explain to me what you are doing. 
And he said, I sat for a whole day yesterday and I compiled two piles of paper. On one, one pile, I wrote the name of every individual who I feel had wronged me and against whom I bore a certain grudge. And then the other pile, I wrote a list of every individual for whom I had done some good favor. And I legitimately expected something in return. After I went to everyone whom I felt I had wronged and asked his forgiveness, I then took the two piles, and that's what I'm doing right now. I made a big fire. And I'm throwing first all the papers of the individuals against whom I have a grudge into the fire, forgetting whatever I have against them forgiving them with all of my heart. And in the other, I'm casting the names of every individual who I think owes me thanks, owes me gratitude. I'm forgetting about that, throwing it into the fire. No one owes me anything. And that's how I enter Yom Kippur. And I can only pray to God that just as I forgive everyone, and hold no grudges against anyone. And don't believe that anyone owes me anything. I pray that God will hold no grudge against me. I pray that God will forgive me of all my wrongdoings. And I pray that truly I may enter life at the conclusion of Yom Kippur with a totally clean slate. A good year and a successful tshuva.